Hello, my name is Oren Martirosian. I'm going to show you how easy it is to import EDI orders into Sage 50 from Transalis OpenEDI. Transalis OpenEDI is a gateway which allows your customers to send you their orders via EDI, the protocol which electronically transfers data, and also to receive their invoices using the same EDI format. So the orders arrive as uh, normal in this web-based Transalis application, and uh, you can then view them, review them, and so on. And uh, there's also a concept of a product catalog. As we know, the retailers like Tesco, Sainsbury's, and what have you will be using their own EAN numbers for their products. Uh, and what the product catalog allows you to do is to map those either on a product-by-product -product or case-by-case -case basis to your Sage stock code. Excel to Sage. Uh, well, that's pretty much uh, all you'll ever need to import things into Sage. Uh, it allows you to bring things in from EPOS systems, billing systems, sh web shops, and has been integrated successfully with various third-party uh, applications, things like uh, order-taking applications on the iPad, like Handshake, as well as web-based CRM applications like Ruby. It also has other flavors, so uh, it also comes into something called SQL to Sage, which allows you to import things from any SQL database into Sage, as well as uh, PDF to Sage, which allows you to uh, bring in PDF purchase invoices straight into Sage with 100% accuracy, and of course Excel to Sage, which allows you to bring things in straight from Excel into Sage. It covers all of your day-to-day -day imports, not just customers and suppliers, but purchase orders, sales orders, product invoices, bank transactions, and so on. So, how would you use this import? Well, you'd use it to import EDI orders from OpenEDI into Sage, uh, but having processed that, you can then export the invoices back in EDI format into OpenEDI for it to be sent on to your uh, uh, EDI customers. It's seamless, as you'll, as you'll see in a second with uh, the presentation, and it's available for other versions of Sage, like 200, 500, and 1,000. So let's have a quick look at it. So here's Sage 50, and as you can see at the moment, I don't have any EDI orders uh, in here. So what I'll do is I'll just make uh, one click and open up my EDI interface. And here's EDI to Sage. And uh, you can see on the left-hand side here, those are the transactions that occur for sales orders. Uh, those are the ones for invoices. Uh, the configuration is very easy. Uh, so when you first set it up, you upload your customer and product information so that uh, they're used within the application. And all you do is literally press one button, which is this import of sales orders from the web. So I'll press that and it will go to the uh, open EDI. And here we are, it's just finished uh, bringing in a few hundred EDI order lines. So let's go and have a look at them. So I'll exit out of that. I'll refresh that. And I can see I've brought in the six or seven orders. And uh, that one looks quite a meaty one. So I'll open that up. And there we are. There you are, a few hundred lines in that particular order that have just been brought in successfully with one click. And it also obviously brings in the other information from an EDI order, things like the uh, customer order number and uh, things like uh, uh, delivery instructions and depots and things like that. So it, literally it's that easy. Just one click, no more reprinting and rekeying things in. It just comes in very, very easily. So what are the benefits? It's very quick and cost effective, as you could see. It's incredibly easy to use and uh, very, very quick to set up, typically less than a day. Uh, we can change it very quickly for you too, and there are various different add-ons. So for example, if you wanted to create back-to-back -back purchase orders based on your EDI orders, that can be done with one of our add-ons for the application. Overall, it just makes processing of EDI orders a lot more efficient uh, by removing double entry and the potential for making errors. Thank you for your interest in EDI to Sage, and I hope you found the presentation of interest. Please feel free to contact me on aura at exiletosage.co.uk uh, to discuss your specific uh, requirements, and uh, we will look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.